Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to part 5, the last part of this one video, of this part 1 walkthrough, man, let's get into it. You want the grass? Oi, what the hell is a class triangle? Uh. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Obviously we're going to court, obvious, yeah. What? C court? What's gonna be fun about the class trials is that I'm not gonna have to read, cause... The, you know, the voice actors are gonna have a little time to, you know, voice. What? He's gonna put us on trial? Listen to me. Maybe that's where... Just well, say. It made sense for their current situation. Investigation clues, files, deploy, those seem awfully similar to court procedures. Sorry, I'm thinking the old red camera right now. There we go. He mentioned that this elevator was near the tree of Lola. He must... He must be referring to the room. Probably, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. However, I don't recall seeing an elevator anywhere. It's the door to the tree, obviously. Then what are you waiting for? Let's get our butts over there. Excuse me for treating this like a dumb game if we're really going on trial. Well, we might as well follow her. One by one, everyone left. Guess I have no choice but to follow as well. Well, shit. Um, Anora, 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 who cares? I really hope we. Oi, no, no, what? <laughs> Can I confirm? Hmm. Why are you asking her? You want the grass? What? What has come off the grass? You right? And that makes her one of the bad guys? Who would want their. To Fate her identity besides someone with the secret, I guess. I bet she's the one who brought that gas bomb onto the train. Really? And she didn't seem to bring it back just to avoid passing out or whatever. No one else is gonna say it. If all you need was a mask to protect you, then... Oh. Hey, don't look at me, I literally passed out. The helmet's not plenty of holes in it. I'd suffocate otherwise. I've got something to say! No, the wire should totally suck. Seriously. Or do you have to use that word sus? She somehow knew that. Deal with it. I told you it was my intuition. Uh, intuition, my ass. True. Hold your horses. It's not unbelievable. My guy told me. Now look at us. We're on a mission to solve her murder. Any clue? Oh, uh, whatever. Where's this elevator supposed to be again? That's right. There's meant to be an elevator around here. But all I see is the tree of ignorance. It's a weird word to say. This class trial entails. If we want to overcome it, we gotta work as a team. Jumping down each other's throats would get us nowhere. Fair. <laughs> the tree of ignorance reminds me of an exhibit I saw on Marmot. It's that's certainly random. And so, are we just gonna talk to everybody before we head in? That's what I. I need a while, dude. Yeah, this episode won't be too long. Okay. We're going into the tree. Let's go. Hell yeah. The more I would do that, the more confused I am. I'm gonna get a headache. I've got to stop. So, um, are we going in or what? It's a creepy statue with a chunk of its mass on this thing. Or face. 
I didn't notice this the first time, but the edges along the missing section were a little up. It looks less like a chunky natural piece while well, well, it's all torn out. You yeah, know, it's a stretch to chew, don't you? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. You alright? What's up with the statue? Hmm. There's definitely something whack about it. Just can't put my finger, finger on it. The mask is broken, there's a piece missing. But. Is that weird? The statue is probably something like super old. I'm no, it definitely seems natural. Way. Like it's crappy on purpose? Even so, it's not relevant to the elevator, is it? <laughs> well, you know. What about? Maybe if we find the piece and the place it back on the statues, then it will happen like the school pausing me. Sounds kind of far fetched, but I'm gonna have to try. You say we gotta look around for the other part of the mask? Oh god, right. it's like a search. Right, hold on to your butts, cause I got eyes of a predator. This is it. our comp- Never mind. With that, everyone started to search. Search the tree again. Some people have split the trees itself, while others score around it. After that, what seemed only a few minutes, Grace stood up friendly with something in her hand. Oh, everyone, I found it. We got her on Grace to see what she was holding. Guts. Nice, that must be it. Um. What should we do with it? Do we just stick it in the back of the mask? Probably, yeah. Uh, I'll take care of it. Soybeans. Back off, Hercules. You ain't the one who found it. <laughs> Grace found a piece of the statue and squatted it right into the mask. And then nothing happened. Oh, that was anti-plumatic. That was anti-plumatic, what you just said. Suddenly, the ground we were standing on began to shake. Golly. Oh, God. So the tree... Oh, we're not about to die, you idiot. Is it on... The tree opened up, right? Yeah. That was a cool log I've seen there. Yo, I was right. <laughs> Me too, man. Whoa. That actually worked. I'll fucking see that pass away in this tree. It's so weird hearing name and curse. Bzzz. A tree of knowledge. A symbol of sentiments. Even a little better. Your words are un. Don't know. The wonder of nature. And justly for ignorance. Oh god, now he's been in random velocity. We're so fucked. Um, well, this. <laughs> what about. Hmm, there stands at the foot of the opening. Yep. Wait, what was that? What? What about. Dot, 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 question mark? Yep. What about dot, 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 question mark? That sounds like a. Like a typo or something. Why is that a rush? Duh. I want to get home, duh. If we get this over with, we'll get out quicker. It's simple math. Fair enough. So we just walk in Dewey. One by one, we approach the opening of the tree. And descend into the darkness. Is it going to have an elevator? See, yo, this is an elevator. I see the elevator is underneath the tree. Watch us in I'm telling you. The rumble of the elevator began its descent. We stood in silence. Sixteen worried strangers pulling into the unknown. That's what we were after all. Um, I'm not reading because I'm taking a look at the scenery. And by that, I mean the characters, like... Because there's... I want to try to... I want to match them to the... To the elevator scenes in the main games. The elevator began... Too slow. I stood up tall. And when movement stopped completely... 
the doors open. Yo! In front of us was a large door hall supported by marble pillars. In the center of the room, 16 podiums have arranged in a circle. Were those for us? Welcome, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the elevator ride, even though it was a bit quick. As you can see, this is the trial room. Each podium has a name on it. Fire designated podium. And if we don't comply, then I'll zap you, of course. Back home. Not this sapping shit again. <laughs> Just face it, Miss Madison. Read the door of his demands. Looks like there's a few smart ones in the pack, eh? Well, oh, come along now. I don't have all day. There was no avoiding it. We had to assume our places. Yo. That's also sick. Scanning the faces around me, everyone were similar dispersions. Discomfort, angry, worry, it didn't end. We've been kidnapped and forced to play as pawns in some insane game. No free will, no choice in our actions. Why is Wookiee smiling? And why is Cassidy like pulling a Kukichi there? We had hope to escape. What? We need to solve this murder case. Man. Oh. I can't wait for the next part. But anyways, thank you for watching part six. We will finally be in the trial. Sorry for the on in there.